Well, let's, let's right. thank all right. you all for being here. We really appreciate it. Um, this morning we heard uh, a lot of good news from the uh, FRA, but let me get to that in a minute. I would like to uh, recognize uh, our board chair, uh, Mike Martinez, is with us. Um, we have three other board members who will be joining us here in about 15 minutes when the train arrives. Uh, Beverly Silas, uh, John Langmore, and Norm Shavitz will be here shortly. But um, obviously we're here to, to uh, uh, talk to you a little bit about our rail opening. We uh, had the Federal Railroad Administration in town all week and uh, this morning they called us and uh, said that everything looked great and that we were good to go. And so we've uh, decided to open up our rail on March 22nd. So we're going to be running the rail on March 22nd. And we're very proud of that and very happy to, to, uh, to get here. It's been a long uh, period. We've uh, started this effort in 2004, over five years ago, with our All Systems Go plan. Went out to the community, had a lot of input. Uh, this was one of the projects that uh, the, the public wanted us to do. And uh, we've uh, been working diligently to get it done. Uh, we uh, made sure it was safe. The Federal Railroad Administration helped us with that. They're very uh, safety conscious because it's uh, important that we do that. And we thank you, uh, by the way, you guys have been great about communicating how we need to be safe out there, don't walk on the tracks, don't park on the tracks, be aware of the train, so that's a very important message. But it's, uh, it's great uh, to be able to announce that we're going to start on March 22nd. Um, it's been a long time again. I'd like to thank uh, Capital Metro employees. They did, did a great job. Uh, our contractors, uh, about six months ago we set together a work plan, thanks to Elaine Timms. She's been spearheading that effort. We followed that work plan, uh, met all of our targets, um, including when we changed rail contractors in December, still were able to meet all of our targets and along with our new contractor Herzog we were able to accomplish everything that we needed to accomplish and feel re really good about that. So uh, the last couple days we've been running the trains and uh, they've been working great. Um, had a lot of good feedback from, uh, from our employees who wrote it and then the volunteers that you'll see here in a minute when they, uh, when they pull into the station. So uh, let me check my notes. Um, what we're going to do the first week is going to be free. It's going to start on March uh, 22nd. We'll run the, the service for free. Let people experience it. Um, likely will be a lot of crowds for that. Uh, we do have plans to uh, uh, accommodate the crowds as best we can. Uh, we'll have our staff out there and other volunteers um, um, there to help the public understand how to use the system. The following week on the 29th we will uh, start charging for fares and uh, we'll uh, um, have, uh, again, our staff will be out there to help people navigate the system. Uh, this last week, again, we were testing the, the fare machines to make sure they were working and understandable. We're going to make a few changes to that to uh, make it a little bit more understandable, but it's a very easy to use system. And it's really a dawn of a new era, a uh, new beginning for, uh, for the Austin area and for Capital Metro with the delivery of this, uh, of this Metro Rail service. And uh, again, we couldn't be prouder of it and we're uh, very happy to deliver it to uh, the citizens of Central Texas. And with that, I'd like to turn it over to our chairman, Mike Martinez, for let him to say a few words if he'd like to. Thanks, Doug. Thank you all for being here. Uh, as Doug has already mentioned, this is a significant step for Austin, uh, and it's a long time coming. This is a commitment that citizens made uh, and that Cat Metro made to the community. And so we're, we're here to announce that we are finally ready to open the red line. Um, and, you know, I, I think that many folks in this town are very excited about this step. But, you know, we're not going to tear a rotator cuff patting ourselves on the back. We're going to get back to work tomorrow. We're going to make sure that all of our services run efficiently and on time. Um, but then we're going to start working on the next phase of transportation for Austin because this isn't it. This is one component of creating a true world-class multimodal system in a world-class city. And so I can't thank our workforce enough, as Doug already has, because it's going to take those same employees to take that next step uh, and to continue improving on transportation here in Austin, Texas. So we're very excited. On March 22nd, we invite everyone to come out and start riding the red line. It will be free, as Doug mentioned. We want you to take that opportunity to get used to the routing, get used to your uh, connection service, to your final destination point, and hopefully you'll become a choice rider of the metro system, uh, taking the red line and then a CAP metro bus line to your final destination. We are very excited. The workforce uh, has done an incredible job. I, I will mention Elaine Thames again because, as Doug mentioned, she has been spearheading you know, hiring an entire new firm to take over rail operations in December and then completing all of the things that were necessary to announce the launch opening 
um, on the committed date, which was the prior to the end of Q1. So my prediction came true. I kept telling everyone it would open sooner than anyone expected. <laughs> and so that came to fruition. We are opening March 22nd and we just want to congratulate the citizens of Austin. We want to thank them for their patience, for their support, uh, and we want them to come out and enjoy the red line. Mike, you said you didn't want to pat yourself on the back over this, but go ahead and talk about considering all the hurdles that you had to come in. A project like this is going sure. to come with hurdles, but how excited are you to be Very. able to say, hey, this thing no. is actually going to take off? I mean, talk, talk yeah, about what, the... you know, What I said was we wouldn't break our, break our arms patting ourselves on the back. We are going to celebrate. We are going to congratulate. We are going to thank so many folks that deserve it. There's no doubt. This is a great day, and it is a cause for celebration. But we must keep in mind that there is much more work to do. And I don't think anyone at the agency uh, is not prepared for that. They know that we need to get up tomorrow, come back to work, keep the buses running on time, and get this rail operation up and going. Doug, will uh, testing continue into next week, even though we've got this uh, green light uh, with the FRA? Yeah, the testing will continue, and then they'll uh, also probably continue a little bit uh, the following week as well. We won't have any additional passengers on it, but they'll keep running the schedule and, and keep practicing the system. Yeah, nothing's in stone. Deadlines are, are known to, to kind of like have to be loosey-goosey, but uh, is there a caveat of, you know, if something pops up, we'll have to hit the brakes again? We don't anticipate anything. Again, the FRA tried to break the system a lot of different ways. Uh, that's what they're supposed to do, and they did a good job of being very thorough in their testing of all the procedures, all the different um, systems. And everything worked well, so we don't anticipate anything from uh, from changing that. Did their Since announcement they, come as a surprise to you, though? Was it a little earlier than what you anticipated, considering you had more testing? No, we we, it, we saw that it was working uh, real well, and uh, uh, we thought we would uh, be able to get this approval. But you never know, and uh, as Rudy pointed out, you never know, and you ne need to make sure that you followed everything that they wanted you to follow. And, and uh, they were very pleased with uh, all of the progress that had been made by uh, Capital Metro and our contractors to uh, get the line where it is today. Is, since they effect. gave the green light on it, is there any reason why you didn't want to get it going by South by Southwest? Uh, just the, just what the timing is. I think um, uh, what we wanted to do is make sure we took the time necessary to uh, get the system right, get the uh, uh, FRA to give them a chance to look at it. The timing worked out that uh, the 22nd will be the, the, the right time to do that. Uh, we may have a, an event that we'll be announcing later where more of the public will be able to, to ride it, but we're not ready to announce that yet. And uh, After March 22nd? Yeah, after March 22nd. Um, uh, so after, uh, after we run it for a few weeks or maybe several weeks, we'll, we, uh, but we'll announce what we might be doing to let the public ride it uh, uh, perhaps on a weekend. Do you, so, will you have any squeaks at the rescue station to make that gate not stay down as long? I had heard perhaps there was going to be some sort of change. I was out there the other day, it was still two minutes and 40 seconds. Yeah, we saw you out there the other day. <laughs> well, yes, I we, wasn't hiding. I know. I know. <laughs> we'll, we'll have you tape of, of, of Ben on the uh, on the platform. It was it was good. Uh, I'm not aware of any Ben, but we'll always be looking for ways to uh, to optimize the system if we can. Yes, Jared. Finally. Yes. Uh, do you have any you plans to have good. any staff at the various uh, stops to help people with the machines? Yeah, no. uh, that's good. A good point. Um, yeah, for the first two weeks, we'll have uh, employees uh, and other volunteers at each of the stations to uh, let them understand, uh, help them understand uh, how to use the system, how to use the, the fare machines, uh, how to get to their buses. For instance, in downtown, we, we will have buses uh, lined up right across the street. So as people get in downtown and they need to go to different parts of the town, we have three different routes that'll take them, including going across the river over by Textot and, and that area over there. So. Um, we will have staff out there to help uh, people. It's pretty easy to understand system, but we want to do good customer service and get them out there. Did the switch from Veolia to the contractor you have now, did that make a difference in, in getting this done? Her Herzog is a great is a great group, um, and they uh, have great contractors that work with them. Uh, Hacks, uh, ISIS uh, uh, worked great. Uh, Herzog is a, is a first class organization. Um, they jumped in there with both feet. After we changed the contract, they had people on the ground the next day and uh, you couldn't ask for a better group to work with.